is your problem. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. Do that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. You wait here. I won't be long. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Fucking egg, whatever I say. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could've waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air.
errands. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time.
Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the living room. I think you should look harder at the mess in the kitchen. I think that's where it all started. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the knife. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Android through the chair. Your story makes no sense. You've got to stick to the facts. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the bathroom. Okay. I've just hit my bullshit quarter for the evening. There's a killer on the loose and I'm wasting my time listening to an android. I'm out of here. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. my job because of androids. Then I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They were sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. 
We should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Or I took off without a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! Shit about my life. Everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! To obey me! You're mine. far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. 
All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here! Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit. You know why? Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh. Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android?
for using Detroit buses. <sighs> All right. End the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. There's nothing more this way. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. We're not going in? We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else.
an abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Come on, let's go back. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store. Not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything.
We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? You all right? Are you hurt? Well, don't worry. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? I trusted you. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do it again.
He believed you? I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. Give me your coat. I have a chocolate bar. Are you hungry? These in the bathroom to dry. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever.
I'm going to turn off the light, okay? <laughs>